How you doing guys? Uh, this is Ben with Bullying at the Kennel Club. I wanted to go ahead and go over the uh, reason why my baby blue female that I started with, which was Grand Champion, uh, why she is 13 times Grand Champion directly in her pedigree. I'm going to go ahead and explain that to you. Kind of, you know, sometimes pedigrees are kind of confusing. As you know, uh, a lot of these UKC papers out there, they're not 100%. But let me tell you why it's ours. So ours is, alright? So basically, we got Baby Blue. Okay, she was a no degree female, just so you guys know, no degrees, meaning I didn't put her in any shows, I didn't win any shows, but what was behind her is what counts. Okay, so basically, her dad was Blue Moon Bay. Now, Blue Moon Bay was off a dog called Redwood's Brightest Cud, whose dad was also off of Grand Champion Red Redwood Shady Town Cud, okay? So you got Grand Champion and, and the Blue Moon Baby Blood in his one to second generation, which is Baby Blue's third generation. Now, Baby Blue is the mom of Blue Moon Baby. Okay. Now Baby Blue had Shady Town Holy Smokes, which basically behind her pedigree was two times Grand Champions that made Holy Smokes. So Holy Smokes was a two-time Grand Champion bred dog that made Bayou Blue. Now they bred Bayou Blue to Grand Champions Northern California Kiss Me Kate. So Northern California Kiss Me Kate was also off a of Grand Champion blood, York's Redwood Blue Valley Velvet. So in this four-generation pedigree, Baby Blue has 13 times Grand Champions that are from half on the dad's side but also on the mom's side, and let me explain. See, what we did is we bred Blue Moon Bayou back to Blue Bubbles. Now, Blue Bubbles was also off of Blue Moon Bayou. So it's a Blue Moon Bayou daughter bred to ex direct Blue Moon Bayou himself. So he's grand champion. That means his daughter's grand champion. So when you inbreed that, you just doubled up on all the grand champions. So if you do the math, you got one, two, three, four, five, six direct grand champions and Blue Moon Bay. Now, double that up, that equals 12 times grand champion blood directly in that four generation pedigree. Now, the mom of Blue Bubbles, now who's the mom, where'd she come from? Her name was Gas Blue Hayes. Now, Gas Blue Hayes, she was also a no degree female. However, her dad's name was Kona. Now Kona, his dad was Grand Champions California Top Gun. So that's in his, that, that was in the mom's third generation California Grand Champion Top Gun. So basically that makes it 13 times Grand Champion blood. So 13 times Grand Champion blooded is Baby Blue. So that's, that's kind of just to explain to you guys why the, the pedigree is so phenomenal. Uh, you know, why uh, this RUKC papers count and why these others don't. Uh, but in addition to that, that also tells you why I choose to no longer register with UKC anymore because we pretty much started with the best. So now we need to start fresh, and that's what we're doing now. So basically, we got Bully United Kennel Club. We started off with 13 times Grand Champion blood in our pedigrees. We then bred to all your bully blood out there that has no grand champion and no, you know, no nothing, nothing legitimate in there. And we made it legit by putting the 13 times grand champion blood in there. So uh, just to let you guys know, anything with, with Shark Lines Baby Blue in the pedigree, this is why you should love it, you should respect it, and you should definitely be proud of it. So I recommend everybody to get some of this Baby Blue strand. It makes some awesome dogs. Um, as you know, 13 times man champion blood, that's just in our four generation pedigree. But all the way through our seven generation pedigrees, there's also more grand champions in there. So I mean, but what counts is directly that piece of paper, you know? So 13 times grand champion is what we started with. Uh, this is why you should be proud of the pedigree. And uh, that's what it is, guys. Now, just to kind of break some news for you, we are Stack Mag Magazine as well. We are also Stag Mags Magazine. Um, Stag Mags Magazine started uh, based off telling the truth about these bullies, uh, letting people know the history of these bullies, where we come from, where the other bullies come from. Um, 
So just to kind of let you know, our foundation was off of West Side Monster and Shark Line's Baby Blue, um, which is basically 13 times Grand Champion blood. And West Side Monster was a dog called Do Goods Camacho, okay? Um, blood, he was four times exact. Now Blue, uh, what made him four times uh, Do Goods Camacho, just to kind of let you guys know, is uh, Juan Gotti. Juan Gotti was, uh, his dad was Grey Lines Raider 2, but on paper, on UKC paper, this is the reason why we don't play with UKC anymore, it says Chain Game Barney, which is an odd accurate pedigree. Um, so the reason why we transitioned from UKC to, to BUK was because we wanted to give people the real legitimate pedigrees and we wanted to show people why we support something real, something positive uh, with mandatory DNA and so forth. Um, so our, our recommendation to the world is get buck, get legit. Um, we're here for you guys. We want, we, want you, we want to show you guys there's a positive way to breed these dogs uh, and we can have fun doing it and be honest. You know, we don't have to fake paper, nothing. Whatever happened in the past was the past, but we're here for the future. We can't change the past, but we can change the future. So this is what we're about, guys. If people wanted to know what happened with Stack Mags, well, we're still here. And uh, we still, you know, still representing magazines. There's a gentleman named Eddie uh, Jimenez. He was my cousin. He was on team. Um, he took our layout uh, from our second issue and printed it under Do Good. Uh, and the story about that is, as you can see, it's all stack mags in there. But the story behind that is, is uh, he kind of uh, he kind of ripped off some people, and uh, I hate to say it, I canceled them. You know, I did the right thing and I got rid of them. I took care of all the people, of course, but I got rid of them. And by me getting rid of them, he kind of stole my layout and put in his own magazine. He started do good magazine. But to be honest with you, uh, if you look at the comparisons, it's pretty much the same thing. You guys will know that we're here. We got our third issue out right now. Uh, it's almost sold out. I recommend you guys get it. Fourth issue and fifth issue we're working on right now. Currently, we should be out around the same time. I say in the ne next couple of weeks. Uh, so www.stackmagsmagazine.com is where you want to go. Uh, check that out. So we're here for you guys. If you have any questions or any concerns, please feel free to to you know give us a call, email us, uh, you know anything. Even if you're not buying dogs, we still want to let you guys know we're here for you. Uh, you know we're here at the Buck and Stack Mags office in our conference room. Uh, you know, we're letting people know that we're here for you guys and uh, we got much love for you. We're here for the future. Stackmags.com